Ooh, what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a fantastic day if I could see you man I'd be happy to see your smiling faces so today what we're gonna do we're gonna uncover my bike um, put the aftermarket exhaust back onto it I had to install the stock to pass the uh, inspection my aftermarket the decibels is just a little bit too high probably because they take and rev it up to about eight or nine thousand rpm and then be like oh you don't pass anyway that's neither here nor there uh first we're going to change that and then i'm going to talk to you guys with the uh, or about the subaru and give you a little bit of update on it uh some of the parts that i've purchased for it and yeah so that's going to be it let's get on with it <laughs> People, that's a wrap on that. Pretty quick and easy. About four and a half minutes. That's about all it takes. All right, let's talk about the Subi build, which uh, was what I'm sure most all of you want to know about. Um, so yeah, the Subi build. I got the motor pulled out. Um, I got it all tore down. Um, I took it to a machine shop that's about two hours north of me. Uh, it's close to Bonn. Uh, about 30 minutes south of Cologne. This place called Subi Performance. It's run by a fella named Andy. He has a YouTube channel called Subi Performance, and I would highly recommend any Subaru owner out there to check his channel out if you're curious about rebuilds or anything to do with the engine. The guy is a wizard. I uh, had a lot of fun talking with him. I'm still having a lot of uh, conversations with him because there's a lot of questions that I have personally about the motor. Um, but I took the motor to him, uh, wound up having to bore it, so I bored it up to 99.75, which was, you know, that's the next step up. Um, he didn't have so great news, so great news, that didn't even make sense. There wasn't good news about the heads. Uh, when I tore those down, um, they did look questionable to me, and he for sure confirmed that they were toast, so what I'm going to have to do is buy a new set of heads and I'm going to try to use the springs and the retainers and all that stuff um, and the valves uh, and the new heads but that definitely bumped my cost up outside of my budget which you know whatever it is what it is something happens you gotta deal with it um so yeah I went through all this stuff with him uh, and be, it's gonna be fun uh, as far as components that I'm gonna put back into it um, I've got the male motorsport piston obviously bumped up to 99.75 I'm running King race bearings I'm running the mainly steel H tough rods I got a brand new crank to put in it the nitrate coated one um, obviously all new gaskets and such that'll all be OEM Subaru stuff um, I'm probably most likely going to wind up replacing most all of the bolts on it as well because they were super rusted. Um, that that motor had been through a lot of harsh winters, I suppose, from whatever year model and car it came from because it's not the original motor that came in the Forcer that I have. Oh, what else? Like I said, the heads will be stock. I'm going to have to order a set of cams because those are toast as well. Also, those will be stock. Look, guys, I'm only trying to get 350 to 400 horses out. It's got to be somewhat reliable. Um, just a nice little fun car that I can have fun on the track with if I decide to track it. But uh, mostly just reliable because I don't want to have to do this again in, a, in three or four years. It's quite expensive. Quite expensive. Um, what else? Um, I bought a 11 millimeter oil pump because I think it had 10 mil on it. Uh, so we need a little bit more oil pressure. Um, I've got a F p blue turbo that i'm going to put on it um that seemed to be, i was going to initially go with the blouse the blouse 18 g but um talked to some talked to some guys and they said that i would get a, a faster spool with this one and less lag so fp blue turbo it is what else uh running the parent intake 
the bigger the, the silicone wrap intake I'm most likely going to do TGV deletes um, let's see what else I got a stiffer trainee mount from IEG I've got the IEG competition and street series engine mounts that are going to go in it uh, the IEG pitch mount that's going to go in it um, I'm currently looking for a hose kit so if anybody's got any ideas on hose kits uh, that'd be great not just radiator hoses all the hoses that came off the motor because most all of them are super uh, hard and dry rotted and I don't want to put those back on and wind up with a boost leak or some other type of leak somewhere not not something you want on a new motor ooh what else I got the access port v3 Obviously, if you have a Subi, you have to have access port. Um, what else? What else? There's, and there's a whole slew of parts that I ordered that should be here in the next couple weeks. Mmm. Yeah, I think that about does it. It's already got the Gretti turbo timer on it. Our boost, or the electronic boost control. I don't know, man. There's so much more stuff that's that's going to be in the works for it. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get it right the first time you know I won't have to go through this and have trial and error because that is just not cool anyway yeah I think that's uh that's pretty oh the heads let me see the heads uh I wound up buying them from a company uh flatironstuning.com you can check them out uh they also have a youtube channel uh highly recommend checking them out they got a bunch of really good information um really helped me out in the past couple days as for all the questions that I have um, he also told me that I'm going to have to get an e-tune most likely for startup and the break-in period. So if anybody has any type of recommendations for people for e-tunes, please leave a comment below. What you doing, Munchkin? <laughs> Climbing up and down steps. Come here. <sighs> so yeah, I think that's going to be it for this update video, fellas. Or ladies. And or ladies. I don't know. Whoever's watching. Um, yeah, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed, remember to hit that little red button at the bottom of the screen. And I hope that you enjoy the morning, evening, or night, whatever it is for you around the world. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Mm.